Radar stands for Rapid Air Cold Damage Recovery. If you picture, you know, a fast food chain like McDonald's where they have assembly line to make the hamburger, we have the same process to repair the craters and repair the runway. Rapid Air Cold Damage Recovery is a seven step process that we use to recover our runway in the event of an attack on our, on our base. It helps bring the sorties back up, get the planes back in the air, and the, the fight back in the war. The ADAP team, which will be the Air Force Damage Assessment Team, will make up of some explosive ordnance disposal techs and some engineer assistants. They will go out to the runway, actually get eyes on it, and see what kind of damage we have on our, on our runway, and see how many UXLs we have. Based on that information, they'll up channel up to the command center, and they'll become They'll figure out what repair zone to repair to get our planes back up in the air the quickest. After that, the first step of the process will be the debris removal team, which will take a front loader, push the debris off the craters that need to be repaired. The second step will be the upheaval marking team. We'll actually mark the upheaval around the crater so we know where to cut the crater to excavate it. The third step will be the cutting team. We'll cut the craters to get ready to come for the fourth step, which will be the jackhammer team with, with the excavator. Jackhammer the crater, break up all the concrete that was cut. The fifth step will be the excavation team. We'll come in and actually excavate all the material. The sixth step will be the backfill team. We'll come in with a 3,000 pound bag of backfill material, but we'll cut the bag open, pour 50 gallons of water in it, make it as level as possible. After that, the seventh step will come in, which will be the capping team. i will come with a volumetric mixer and pour the rapid set concrete on top of the, the crater to cap it flush with the surface. And after that, it'll dry for two hours and then it'll be open to all airframes. So the biggest thing about the radar process is that it's really a whole base concept, not only civil engineers, but we have some LRS operators come with us and bases that have other coalition forces. It's always great to bring everybody into the training events to make sure that, you know, worst case scenario, we have a maximum amount of people trained to, uh, to help everybody out and get the runway back up and operational. Uh, any kind of opportunity we have to work together in the joint operation, operations or with other nations enables us to basically meld very quickly and just know what each other is doing. For the radar exercise, uh, it was good because it brought to light a different process. Uh, so when we go home, we can bring uh, some of that process back. My three guys, they came out, uh, Corporal Harvey, Corporal Thompson, and Corporal Schramm. Uh, they told me they were very excited to be part of the, the exercise, uh, just working with, with the Americans, with our counterparts, doing it and seeing how it works, well, not just reading the manual, but actually putting it into action. Uh, they just, from start to finish, they enjoy the whole process and they want to do it again.